Hello everyone, I am Nick Harrison with Rocky River Woodworks and today we're going to talk about calculating board feet with lumber. So I understand that as you grow as a woodworker you're probably going to want to buy rough sawn lumber. Um, it's a lot cheaper and um, it's you know depending on how much you really enjoy woodworking it's kind of fun sometimes to mill your own lumber. Um, to be able to take something that is rough sawn in this state and turn it into something that you can use in this state where you square up the edges, mill everything down as plain as surfaced. Um, S4S is what this is considered. Sometimes you'll see that that's uh, surfaced on four sides or smoothed or sanded on four sides. Um, so we're going to talk about board feet in this video and the way we're going to do it is uh, to kind of go through each one of these. So just for reference, each three of these different sizes of pieces of wood are all the same, roughly the same board feet. They're about 0 0.6, 0 0.7 ish. Now, just keep that in mind as we talk. So a board foot is different than a square foot, different than a cubic foot. A board foot is a piece of wood that is 12 inches by 12 inches, one foot square and one inch thick. So a board foot is 144 cubic inches. So for the sake of the argument, let's pretend that this piece of lumber, this piece of wood was 12 by 12. It's not, but let's pretend it was 12 by 12. And it's one inch thick. That would be one board foot. Now, the flip side of that, okay, so just to kind of get into some examples. This board that we're talking about here is one inch thick and it is roughly nine and a half by nine and a half. So to calculate a board foot, we're gonna get our calculator and we're gonna do length times width times height or thickness divided by 144, because there's 144 cubic inches in a board foot. That will give you your board feet. So in this case, it's nine and a half by nine and a half by one, that's 90.25 divided by 144. It's 0 0.2, uh, 0.62 board feet. All right, so looking at another example, I'm gonna use a standard two by four to calculate the board feet. We know that it's three and a half wide and it's an inch and a half thick and roughly 19 and a quarter long. So we're gonna do three and a half by one and a half by 19.25 divided by 144 is 0 0.7. So as you saw, this one was 0 0.62, this was 0 0.7. They're around the same board foot, even though they have a totally different dimension, because again, this is only one inch thick, this is an inch and a half thick. So board feet is a lot different than square feet. All right, we're gonna move on to another example. This is two inches thick, four inches wide, and right at 12 inches long. So two times four times 12 divided by 144.6. All right, so these are almost the exact same board feet, even though they're different thicknesses, different sizes, different heights, stuff like that. When you go to purchase lumber and you're trying to calculate your board feet, lumber is sold in quarters, meaning that instead of buying a one, if you go to a lumber yard and say you wanna buy a one inch thick piece of lumber, that is incorrect, generally. Um, you buy in quarters, so one inch thick is four quarter. Uh, inch and a half is gonna be six quarter, and so on. 10 quarters, two and a half, you know, stuff like that. Um, eight quarter, two inches thick. So here I have a piece of eight quarter maple, it's two inches. Well, it started at two inches before I planed it down. Um, two inches, one inch. So four quarter, eight quarter, eight quarter. Um, it's just an improper fraction. So you can always divide out, you know, divide the two numbers together. Four divided by four is one. Uh, if you have eight quarter, eight divided by four is two, so on. If you have a, um, they sell 12 quarter. So that's a three inch thick board. So you purchase wood or lumber in quarters. Now you are purchasing rough sawn. So this is rough sawn. And if we measure this, it's about an inch, and, it's almost right at inch and a half. So this will be considered six quarter maple. Now, if you're gonna be um, 
you know, making this into a project, nine times out of 10, you're gonna wanna surface it down. The reason I mention all of that is to say that if you are wanting to make something, you know, a lot of projects are made with three quarter inch thick um, material. So you're going to want to buy a four quarter inch thick stock that allows you room to mill it down, plane it down and everything. You don't wanna buy something that's right at three quarters of an inch is thick because then you have no room to plane off and you know, you're gonna take off a 16th, a 32nd, a couple of 16th, an eighth, whatever, to get to the final, you know, smoothness and preparation of the material that you're gonna need for your project. So just to do a couple more examples, we're gonna measure this. This is a six quarter. Um, we're gonna, for now it's right at an inch and a half. So we're gonna consider this six quarter. So in, to do the board feet, we're at 15, we're gonna call it 15 and a half long, nine wide and 1.5 thick. So let's get our calculator pulled up here and we're doing one and a half times 15 times nine divided by 144. There's 144 cubic inches in a board foot. This is 1.4 board feet. All right, so if you were to add these two together in board feet, you would roughly get the same as this. And I'm provided, assuming that this is here, this notch out here. Um, so, and I know it can be slightly difficult to understand and it is a lot to grasp. Um, just do a bunch of examples. Do as many practices as you can. You're gonna have a lot more buying power and you're gonna know what you're talking about if you go to the lumber yard and you're able to measure your own board feet. A lot of lumber yards sell lumber in board feet. So you wanna know how much you're gonna pay before you get to the, pay, to the ticket counter. Um, to you know to break out the wallet you don't want to be thinking that you're buying something um, for $90 and it costs you 350 and you didn't bring enough money um, so just like I said practice your board feet calculating if you have any questions feel free to contact me I'll be glad to help you out um, again the prices at the majority of lumber yards true lumber yards are sold by the board foot. With that said, as far as mentioning um, in the quarters, the thicknesses of the board, if you're doing four quarter, eight quarter, you might have a lumber yard that sells maple for $7 a board foot for four quarter. You might have, and then that same lumber yard will sell eight quarter maple for $9 a board foot. That does not mean that you discount that quarter. So for example, if let's use this again, it's nine by 15 and a half by, um, we'll do it two separate ways. So let's pretend that this was one inch thick. So we're gonna do um, nine times 15.5 divided by 144. That's 0.97. Now, if you're gonna multiply that by $7 a board foot, let's say, times seven, you're paying 678 for this. Now, since let's pretend it was $8, um, eight quarter, all right? We're gonna do nine times 15 and a half divided by 144, again, 0.97. Now, if it's eight dollars, um, if it's nine dollars a board foot because it is eight quarter, first of all, we're gonna need to go back and do nine times 15 and a half times two instead of one because we're two inches now, divided by 144 is $1.94 or 1.94 board feet times $9 a board foot. So I guess, and I know that can get kind of confusing. I guess what I'm trying to say is if you're buying one board foot of lumber, so it's 12 by 12 by four quarter, one inch, that's one board foot, and it's $7. If you buy something that is two inches thick, you cannot just double that $7 because a lot of lumber yards, if it's eight quarter or further, it's a different price than four quarter. So if one board foot of black walnut is $7 and you you're going to buy something that is 12 inches by 12 inches by one, then you're paying $7. If you're going to buy something that is um, 12 inches by 12 inches by two and they're selling it, <clears throat> and they're selling it for $9 a board foot, now you're paying $18, not 14. You can't just double the seven, you're paying $18 now, um, or $16 if they're selling it for $8 a board foot. All right. I know that's confusing, a lot of information thrown at you. I just thought I would talk about it for a second because as your woodworking hobby or career goes on, you'll probably get to where you're buying rough sawn lumber and it's just helpful to know how to calculate the board feet. Again, just to kind of a wrapping up, just a review, you'll buy lumber that looks like this. 
Whatever the, the measurement is, it's in quarters. It's in proper fractions. If it's an inch and a half, that is six quarter. That is not an inch and a half. If it's one inch, four quarter, and so on. Just divide the top number by the bottom number and you'll get your answer. You'll smooth it down like this, always over by. So for example, if you need an inch and a half, buy a quarter. Don't buy a six quarter because you're gonna mill it down to an inch and a half. Board feet, this can be one board foot. This can be one board foot. Um, Again, it's all about the board foot, not the square foot. Just a reminder, and I'll put it on the overlay on the screen so you can see, to calculate a board foot, length times width times height divided by 144. There's 144 cubic inches in one board foot. And then after you get that, obviously you can multiply by, you know, whatever the lumber yard's charging per board foot. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. You can find uh, more on my website at www.rockyriverwoodworks.com and you can click on the four woodworkers tab at the top to take you to all of my content uh, side of things for woodworkers. Be sure to follow me on social media across all platforms. I post on Instagram every single day at Rocky River WW. I'm Nick Harrison with Rocky River Woodworks. Thank you for watching.